So if you want to turn any audio or video into text automatically, there's a built-in feature in Google Docs that you may have missed that makes it super easy to do. Let's jump in. All right, so first things first is we're going to open up Google Docs. Now, if you've never done that or are unfamiliar with Google Docs, it comes included with any of your Google accounts if you already have a Google account. And so when you go to the Google main page over here next to your profile picture up in the top right hand corner, there's a little grid here. This, these are your Google apps and you'll click on that and then you scroll down and you'll see Docs. You open up that. And I already have a couple of documents that are in here, but if you're just getting started, you'll see this up at the top. And all we're going to do right now is just going to open up a blank document. Now, this is very similar to Word or any other kind of word processing sort of app. All right, now the power of transcribing is a couple of things. You can either just be able to, you know, talk through what you want to type out if you're working on drafting a document or an email and it'll do that for you or if you're creating a video or have created a video and you want to transcribe that this method will work for both of those so what we're going to do we have this brand new document and all i'm going to do is i'm going to go up to the tools click on that and down here you see voice typing click on that and then you see this little microphone box and you can move this around so that it's not in your way. And all you're going to do is you're going to click on the click to speak and then you just start talking. And as you talk, you can see that the text is forming on the screen. And I'm talking at a normal pace of what I would normally talk as I'm typing. And you see it's keeping up with me quite well. Now, sometimes it struggles a little bit with punctuation. So you may need to include the punctuation exclamation mark. Or if you have a question, you might want to say, should I put a question mark here? Question mark. And you can see it includes it that way. But otherwise, it will include everything in there. And then once you're done, you can click on the microphone again and it'll stop transcribing. Now, you, of course, will need to go through this and edit it or, or readjust anything, add some punctuations. But again, just like any word processing tool, you can go in here and say, I want to delete this part question you might have so you can delete that and you can edit it right in there now in a similar fashion if you have a video and you want to provide some subtext or you want to take a video and turn it into a blog or write a description about it or whatever the case is then you can do this in a similar fashion all that you have to do is just bring up your other window i have down here just a another video that we recorded here on the channel and what you want to do is we'll just start a new line here now, the trick to this is you need to start playing the video first and then start the microphone to transcribe the audio because once you click outside of the Google Documents, it'll stop the microphone feature. So in order to avoid that, just click the video first. You might miss the first couple of words, but you can always add those in there later. So it'll look like this. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to start using Slack like a pro. Let's get started. So we're going to start by heading over to once you get that first pass of everything in there it's pretty easy to go back in there and just do a little bit of proofreading a little bit of tweaking if you're looking for a word for word transcription if you're just using it as inspiration to be able to write an article about it or a blog about your video then by all means it works great so there you have it that's an easy way to transcribe your videos or do audio to text for free built right into google docs I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.